Okay, once again, I hope you are refreshed from tea break. Good. You might be wondering why you are getting the daily feedback form when it's only the third session and not the fourth. The reason is because during this ending session of the day today, we are going to break you up into groups and have you work together in that group to prepare for tomorrow. So after I give you the instructions, I'm, we're not presenting up here anymore today. You will be doing all group work. So we just wanted to get your feedback from the instructional part of the day today first. So this morning we started off with some cartoons and then we did the um, warm-up activity, what's in common, and what did we do after that? Right now we did interdependence drawing, common humanity. Before that, we did the empathy line, and before that, we did spoon and marbles and attention activity. So those were all activities that we also do with the students, you should know. Um, but please go ahead and complete this feedback form, and then when you're done, then I will give instructions for the next part. For the next activity, we will be breaking up into groups, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to break you up into groups after I give you the instructions. Okay? So, once we have you in groups, and we're creating four groups, there will be four groups, we're giving each group a C learning lesson from our curriculum. Each one of you is getting one lesson. Each of the four groups will have a different learning experience. Okay? You with me so far? More or less, okay. We might need some translation along the way. <clears throat> Once you get that learning experience, that lesson plan that we give you, we would like you to stay with your group, but allow some quiet reading time so each person can read the learning experience for themselves. I just said I'm splitting up into four groups and they're getting learning experience and the first step is quiet reading. Okay. 어, 네, 당당한 제고 루비에 찍 여러 아디 에 제고 디 낭롤라 아니 어, 아주 상마 루가 실라 고셰겹 라 아니 루가 수술라 아주 기 단데 산이 제고 단 제외 슈글로야 지 마트 아니 한디 라그로 아디 뭐야 한디 마트 아마디 차상지 아버지 로로 제. Great. So it will look it will look like this. Everyone's getting copies to read, and it is <laughs> some of them, you know feel kind of heavy, like it's a lot of pages. So it's not, it's several pages. You'll need some time to read through it carefully. So as you read it, we'd like you to keep in mind a few questions. First of all, what is the purpose of this learning experience? Hopefully, we've made this easy for you because the first section of the lesson is called purpose and it explains the purpose. So reading that will be very helpful. The next part says learning outcomes. And those are the things that we hope students will explore or learn through this lesson. Oh. Every lesson follows the same um, structure. It starts with a check-in, and that is a very brief activity to get students sort of activated and ready for learning and to connect. 
ဟောဒီကိတရှုခံဘုချိုရာဒီကိင်ကိုရန်ငယ်ရချက်ဒီနာလို့ကွယ်ပါတာတူချက်ခံနေမတိဟာကိုရာဒီနေနေငွေဆ
And that way they can spend 15 minutes or 20 minutes and over several days they complete the entire learning experience. Learning experience ro <laughs> So tomorrow we will have each group present a role play and you will have 15 minutes to show one activity from the learning experience. Or sometimes people do a very short check-in and then a, you know, inside activity if that takes 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So once you read the learning experience, you as a whole group will decide what part of the learning experience you want to demonstrate for the whole group tomorrow and you only have 15 minutes to do it. So you can do one activity, or you can show us two, but shortened versions of them. Mm -hmm. So just be aware of the time that you have. Oh. That Okay, so far so good. So you will be in groups, you will read the learning experience, and then you will discuss in your small group after everyone has read it. Make sure everyone understands the learning experience. So you might have questions and people in your group can help talk through their understanding of the learning experience. So get a collective understanding of what's there. Chida da tanda ngazu di nyongze ni ma lobze ni ma tamgi ro a tamin di ta ruga na lo so so ngwe la cha san ji lo lo ne ni di gi tunda di shen ba che an ke si yan tunda se bu me wa ina an ko so ba ruga di nang lo la pa zu tu dur che ne kan je mi chang ma gi le chen di kari in ba di ni se bu ji shen ba nang ro che and then decide what um when you do your role play what age group of students will you be sort of showing us? So in the role play, you'll have two teachers and several students and decide what age level you'll be pretending those students are. Oh, <laughs> So the lesson that you're receiving has been copied out of the, our middle school curriculum. It's intended for that age group. So if you want to pretend that you're working with younger students, for example, think through what adaptations or changes you might make to that learning experience to make it work better with younger students, for example. Uh, so you will have understood the lesson, decided on your age group, and then you'll decide what part of the learning experience, what activity you want to show um, tomorrow, and then figure out what preparation is needed in order to demonstrate that part of your lesson, and discuss that as a group, and then practice your role play. 
เออเจตตาเงินละตินตะดีมาตําเฉยดีโลรวะอันนี้โลทะเวเจละอันนี้ขันจุกีเอ่อลุบทุกีโลดีขาจุยบะดีทาจุจิเฉรวะดีทาจ
but we don't have the schedule on those instructions. So if you want to take a picture of this to help you remember what will happen tomorrow, feel free. We'll also review this tomorrow before we get started as well. Okay, all right. Um, so tomorrow it will look like this, but you don't need to know it too much. I think we will leave it there. Um, anything else I need to say about it? I think you covered everything. I think we did it. Okay, I think we did it. Yes? Okay, this, this diagram. So it's... Tomorrow you will do a demonstration in front of the group. So your whole group will be up here with the teachers, the students, and then the observers will be sitting around up here, your own observers from your own group. And then the rest of us will be watching out there. So this is how it will look tomorrow. The only change is that you won't be a, you won't be a complete circle because if you have your back all the way turned like this, it's hard for us to hear what you're saying. So we'll sort of make it a little more of a you instead of a closed circle. Well, the don't worry about this. You'll have more students than two to four because we have pretty large groups. So you'll have you'll be able to have more students than that in your group. Okay. So let us count off by four, so we can make four groups. Okay. okay, and let me tell you ahead of time, to begin, group one can meet here, group two meet there, group three and group four. After you have your group together, you can go outside or downstairs or wherever you want to plan. You don't have to stay in here, but first meet with your group so everyone can find their group. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Okay, both is good. No problem. <laughs> so the idea here is to really help each other a lot with this activity, okay? Help each other a lot. There's one final thing I want to mention. Sometimes when we do the role plays, we have very disruptive students in the role play. But if the student is too disruptive, the whole role play becomes about managing the student, and we don't get to see the activity. So I want to invite you to create a realistic situation, but not one in which a student derails the whole activity, because then we miss the activity. Okay, great. So let's count. We'll start here. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> one, 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 chick, chick. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, 
the one Sangma Dela Che, any two, pa, three, four, 